I'm going to go over just some basic settings of your master tracker, how you can add people, how you can sync your map, and how you can fix it if you've linked the wrong one. So you want to make sure that you've enabled Mastery Tracker. If you don't have that, I'll link the video down below. Uh, you should have your grade, your subject, and then the standards that you're using. If you've linked the wrong one, that's the first thing we're going to go over. I'm going to go to More, and I'm going to Unlink Tracker. And so this will allow me to just unlink my tracker or unlink it and remove content. So I'm just gonna unlink it. And then when that happens, you will see the lost panda and you can link that tracker back. And you always wanna make sure you do it from a curriculum map. And then you can link that back. Now one thing um, is the data follows the students. So if you've accidentally linked something and you've given a CFA and you already have data but you need to link the right map, you can still unlink that. The data will still populate. So you don't have to worry about losing student data because the data follows the student. It doesn't follow your course. Second thing I'm gonna go over is syncing your map. Let's say that someone has added an assessment, go into your assessments, group it by list view, look at that. Always cleaner, it always defaults to group by standards, but we want list view. Um, so let's say that they've added an assessment and it's not here. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to more, curriculum map, and then sync curriculum map. And then that will push any assessments that they've added to the map into your tracker. Second thing, third thing, um, I'm gonna show you how to add collaborators. So if you go to more and then people, you can add other teachers. So you can add um, the special education teachers in your building that need to also see the data for your students. Um, you can add co-teachers, um, anything that you, anybody that you need to look at the map, um, you can add it right here. You can also um, edit how you view your tracker. You can have it so that um, it's only the assigned standards. Uh, you can have it so it's all of your units. I only have one unit for this map, but if you had more units, you can go in here and check those units. You can also view your standards here. So if I go to standards and view standards, here's my standards for my course. In my other videos, I have going over how to import Canvas quizzes that you can watch. Uh, I will be making more on using the tracker and looking at data and reports with your assessments. So make sure you stay tuned for more videos.